Ladies, welcome back to our channel. Now, in this vlog, we are talking all about wardrobes. Since we moved in, you guys have known the shenanigans when it comes to our wardrobe. We were supposed to have the developers who built this house build us some wardrobes, but the company that they used went under administration, so they went bust, and we had to get a refund for that. And then we finally found the perfect company to do our wardrobes, which is Hammond's. Oh my God, they literally have the biggest selection of mm. custom made wardrobes. We are getting fitted wardrobes built into Grand study room and also I have a walk-in wardrobe slash guest bedroom. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a whole transformation for both of the rooms which is very exciting and then maybe in a follow-up video I will do like a decluttering video organizing my closet so let me guys know if you guys want to see that. I am having my desk and wardrobe fitted. I'm getting a little bit bigger wardrobe than my previous one. A little bit bigger this is a like lot okay okay, okay. The size. <laughs> so we had the team at Hammond's come over and they actually sat down with us and they basically custom designed the mm. wardrobe space for us and it was so nice because she drew it all up then and there we could say no we want that or we want more drawers and they're yeah. actually going to be designing Grang's desk as well so if it's going to flow super seamlessly so we have emptied out Grang's study room and we literally like moved all the sofas and everything like that and then you're also going to be taking up the carpet okay so I'm going to slot in a clip here of when we was moving all the furniture in that room yesterday. Welcome to our messy room at the moment. It is super, super messy because Twee's been in here. As you can see, makeshift desk. This desk was from our old house slash I had to make a new tabletop. So that is going straight in the bin. So far, area here is my little chill out area, gaming area, and just a relaxing spot. Sometimes you just... Why well, sit here instead of sitting downstairs? I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this table situation because I kind of like game set up here. So we're having a table fitted from here to the end of the wall. Quite a big table, guys. It's a really big table. This guy, between ball and decided to buy it and have no space for it. So he's been living here for now. Our wardrobe's going here, so it needs our new home and it's going in the bedroom. Over, over there. there. This is going to be my spare bedroom and also walk-in wardrobe room. It's time to do the friends moment where they pivot the couch up the stairs. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh, manoeuvre. I think Guy just wants to do it by himself, guys. I'm just being useless. We're rolling up the carpet. This is so hard to roll. This carpet's thick. They see me rolling, rolling, rolling. My next task is to try to remove the underlay. Okay, prepare yourself guys, okay? You're probably gonna have a heart attack when you see this room. This is gonna be the walk-in wardrobe and we are gonna do the full transformation from zero to a hundred because it really is a zero or even a minus zero at this point. <laughs> oh, I can't even open the door because it's just filled with so much stuff. It is like a bomb has exploded with pretty little things. I obviously need to do a huge decluttering, which is gonna come in another video. Sorry if you hear any drilling, by the way, we are getting some work done for Grand's bedroom at the moment, but I just wanted to show you a little overview of what this room is looking like, because it looks kind of crazy right now. We have my old clothing here. This is all from my mum's house. All of this stuff here is all the new clothing that I got since I've been in this house. I haven't been bothered to go through this clothing, so I just had to order new clothing so there's just clothing everywhere. First task is that we need to put everything into bin bags and we are gonna transfer them into another room, aka probably my family bathroom because no one ever used that bathroom. <laughs> As you can clearly see, Twee can't find the clothes because she's got a hat on, <laughs> a jacket. I clearly am a fashion some... influencer with this outfit. <laughs> Pajamas. This is what happens when you can't find your clothes. I am. The king of Jenga. This is our new walk-in wardrobe, guys, aka our bathtub. Oh, how lovely, look, it's got a glass panel and everything. Look, so you can, like, see what you want to get. This is the sea of clothing. You want to take a bath? Our bathtub full of clothes. We are slowly making progress. Look, there's the whole area that's clear there now, and now we can actually see the floor. Woohoo! And just like that, the room is finally empty. I have not seen this room empty since we moved in, like, eight months ago. So, this is crazy! Honestly guys, whenever I see the room empty, I'm like, oh my god, I definitely do not appreciate how big these bedrooms are and it's so echoey now. Two days later, <laughs> this is what we've done. Oh. We cleaned it, it took two days, guys. <laughs> this whole 
wall right here is going to be a massive wardrobe. This is actually the biggest wall that we have in our whole house. It's over four meters long. So we're going to have a huge wardrobe here and it's actually going to wrap all the way around until the end of this socket. Then I'm planning to put a big mirror here. So this will be my outfit of the day, kind of photos, you know, doing it for the gram. Most of our wardrobes from Hammond's is going to be white, but we have like three big mirrors here in the center. And then we're planning to put our bed that we're currently sleeping on in here. But eventually we need to find a new bed for our master before that comes in. So I'm going to actually enjoy a walking wardrobe for a little period. Then our peloton is going to be right here. So when I'm riding, I can look outside. The only thing is, I really want to paint this room. But I just don't know what kind of theme I have in here. Like, I want every single room to have like a different theme. So it's like a different environment every time you come in. But I just don't know about this room yet. I'm going to wait until the wardrobes come in and then I need to go in my Pinterest mold, you know. Okay guys, this is a little sneak peek. Oh, the wardrobes, they are literally coming along so nicely. They have just put on the top wooden panel. How nicely does this go with the wall colour? Perfect match. I know, Grand's desk is going to be exactly the same finish as well. So it's going to look so nice and seamless. But I didn't realise how big this space is for the desk. Why do we need a desk this big, please? This looks so good. So we're going to have some drawers here. Drawers at the bottom there and drawers on this side, bottom drawer. He's just going to go get some lunch now, but I can't wait to see the desk, guys. He literally fixed this so quickly. Okay, guys, so this is the end of the first day. Oh my God, we have drawers. Ooh, so sleek. So nice. We're also going to have some more drawers built here as well. I think this would be cute for like socks, underwear. And then also Grab has cute little shelves as well. So you can put all his perfumes there. I cannot wait to see the final results. I am loving the colour of this wooden panel, by the way. It's so nice. It goes with the room so well. Okay, so this is what my room is currently looking like. Graham has just rolled up the carpet and he is just taking off the underlay. It's so echoing here now. How's it going? Master Carpenter. This is Graham. He's learning all these DIY tricks. I feel like he's going to be a proper tradesman by the time he's done with this house. I'm going to try to save some money and do the carpet myself. Oh, is this a bad move, guys? Are we doing the wrong thing? I've just arrived and oh my god, this house looks like a bombshell that's just about to happen. Okay. I thought she's left all this behind at my mom's house. Ooh. Oh my god, there's so much work that's been involved. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love the colour scheme. Oh, do you like it? I love the wardrobe. This is enough space for Gwen. Do you think? We were supposed to do another wardrobe. But it looks so sleek from the outside. I love how um, this looks very masculine. It looks like a man's like den. Yeah, exactly. So and good also, choice. we haven't got no mirrors in here, which I was like, mm, but I actually quite like it. It's very sleek. Yeah, okay. I didn't actually notice that. Yeah. The only thing, this looks nice. If it will just slightly longer here. Yeah. I think Just slightly. I think we're gonna be changing out this desk because I think it's a little bit too shallow. I love how it matches the wardrobe but I think it's a little bit shallow so we're gonna try to get another tabletop that's a little bit deeper so it kind of matches the depth of the wardrobe. Yeah. Now I want to know who selected this design. Well, I'm actually designed. Well, okay, I'm actually yeah. proud of him. He's normally got bad taste guys. <laughs> All the flooring out. I know. He's gonna try to attempt to fix the carpet himself. Do you think you can do it? Hopefully. I see the vision. I love the colour scheme. It really goes in the room. Okay, so we're gonna take my sister into. Guys, I'm more excited to see the guy rather than the wardrobe. I heard there's a workman in there. <laughs> Your girl is single. Okay, how should I do the reveal? All right, so we're gonna go in and show my sister the work in progress of my walk-in wardrobe room. Hello. She wants to have a look. I just want to have a little sneak preview. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've done so much from the wow. last time. Oh my god, that's amazing. The and it reaches one. all the way out. It's proper built-in wardrobe. I know, right? And then you've got the end one as well. So this is a proper wrap-around stuff. Yeah, originally we was gonna wrap it around all the way. Yeah, I feel that what you need to do here is some shelf here or something yeah, like that. Yeah, so you can be have nice display to stuff. And then I'm also going to put like a big mirror there as well. Day one has been completed. The guy from Hammer has just left. And oh, guys, I see the vision. Look at this room. He's still in the middle of doing these 
top plates, which is the bit that makes it look like the professional built-in fitted wardrobe. The only thing is, it's definitely made the room feel a lot smaller. Obviously, probably because we have all of this stuff still in here tomorrow he's going to be putting on the drawers i can't believe it actually only takes two days to complete all of this but this is a lot of wardrobe space i'm so excited guys and then also because we are not gonna have our bed in here for a while because we still haven't finished our master bedroom all of this is just gonna be clear and open i can take my outfit photos Ooh, i'm so excited and i just can't hide it hello chanel <laughs> She has already got her outfit on point with this. Hello guys, I have no lips. <laughs> I have to pre-warn everyone. I'm in the process of getting it dissolved. Today is the second day where Hammonds came. They done such an amazing job. We're gonna go inside of my walk-in wardrobe room for the first time. So we're gonna get my first impressions. So excited to finally have my clothes hung up, not have to rummage through it. At the moment, this is what the next week I'm gonna have to look forward to. Yay, organizing all this. I'm excited to find know where my clothes are. I've been wearing the same old pajamas for the last 10 days. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is crazy. I thought I would have cried. Oh my god. It's so big. Oh my god. I love it. I feel so emotional. I can't believe it. This is all for me. Oh, I get emotional. Why am I crying? I've been just for so long. They have literally exceeded my expectations, you know? It looks so much nicer in real life yeah. as well. I can't wait for Grant to put in the carpet. I'm gonna enjoy it while I can until later on we're gonna have to convert it into a guest bedroom. It's been seven months since we haven't had a wardrobe. We didn't realize we started to start our home from scratch. Financially, it is an expensive yeah. cost that it's we have to fork out. Because our whole life, guys, we've just gone for like the Ikea wardrobe so this is the first time like ever investing something into your home and it's like you are literally molding your home into exactly how you want it and especially when you buy a new build as well it's literally just like four blank walls so it's so nice to have your little touch in here and you guys know that like, I have always dreamt of having a walk-in wardrobe so this is amazing so it is huge it's a lot bigger than I expected I still feel like we've got a lot of room left in here so everything is handleless so it looks super sleek and everything is like a, a push design oh my god i have it opened up inside here so this is literally like first impression oh my god this is so exciting so this is gonna be all my jackets and then it also has some little shoe storages down here as well and i asked for like extra drawers so these drawers are really good they actually really big and really deep as well all of these shelves i'm gonna put like bags oh my god so this is a corner one <gasps> so much storage ah! i can't believe it i'm so happy <laughs> you look so it. tiny compared to the wood <laughs> so we was deciding whether to put the mirrors in the center or i was thinking to put just the mirrors here we also was only gonna get two mirrors yeah but as you can see one two one two three one two yeah so it's symmetrical exactly so i thought it'd be nice to have a mirror here the bed is gonna go here not be great feng shui is it though? oh yeah it's not good feng shui but yolo <laughs> and then i also plan to put a big mirror here because we've got a window here so that natural daylight will come so here's gonna be like selfies also to mention the original plan was to wrap it around here oh, and yeah. then cut this one side down so it was kind of symmetrical like a u shape yeah but then i was saying to tweet how this window is so small that we can't block off this window we was planning to design like a u shape so the other wardrobe will come here so it kind of wrapped all the way around but grad kept saying like it's gonna block off the room i think especially this room doesn't get a lot of natural daylight as well so we want to keep it mm. open so i thought it'd be nice to have a big space here to put a big mirror here so it'll be nice because here it's just a plain backdrop it's just a white backdrop which i think will be so good for like styling videos i really want to get into fashion this year oh my god there's so much storage i'm so happy guys i'm so happy ah look how much storage there is this is like every girl's dream now i have to buy more clothes 
to fill up this wardrobe. No. Yay! If you go through all that wardrobe space, you have a problem. <laughs> you say it's having a problem is a bad thing. <laughs> Oh my god, this is wow, a lot of hanging stuff. A lot of hanging stuff. I love it. I really love it. It's a different design actually from Grand's room as well because this one is like all handleless. I really like it because it's such a big wardrobe and because it's white, I feel like it opens up the room as well. I think if you had it in a darker colour, it would make the room look a bit smaller. We are planning to change the colour of these walls. And then also here as well, there's still a little bit of a gap. So as soon as you walk in, it doesn't close off the room straight away. I'm just like so flabbergasted by the guy's carpentry where it's like top to bottom, clean. So that is like the amazing thing about fitted wardrobe. It looks like the room was designed to have these in here, which is so cool. So at the moment, what we're doing is fixing it back to the new line where the wardrobe is now. Now we've got everything in, we laid the unlay. That is helping me and use a staple gun and staple in this unlay. So we just do this and then it will get stuck to the floor. And then we lay the carpet on top of this unlay because it makes it softer. So step one has been complete. All the unlay been fitted. Now it's time for the carpet. We rolled out the carpet and then cut off extra. The carpet needs to go all the way through the wardrobe so we had to trim it off. I left extra just in case I cut it too short. Fit the carpet in there first and then stretch it. So we've got this little tool here. Probably like this. This grips the carpet like that and you just whack your knee in it and it stretches the carpet to the edge. This is a carpet stretcher which was like £50 on Amazon so not too bad. Got a Stanley knife so you can cut the carpet. Also I got a carpet sucker so you tuck the carpet in to the skirting board. In theory, what it should do is, this carpet grips onto this little red bit, and then you tuck the rest of it in, so it looks like it's been tucked in, like rolled in, kind of thing. See what I mean? Like that? All right, time to update you guys in my room. As you can tell, my room is much better than <laughs> Toy's room. It's kind of my vision of what I wanted in my room and yeah. a man cave. He has something that literally just come in a post today and Raj used it as his new chair. Here's a chair, that's why. <laughs> Who saw my crusty IKEA chair? This was the old chair that we've been using. Look at it guys. This is what happens when you buy IKEA stuff. It doesn't last as long and this is literally just from us sitting and rubbing our asses on it, so. It's time to invest. Little dilemma. I had my computer on the desk recently and it's a little bit short. So I've emailed the guys over at Hammond's and they're trying to arrange for someone to get a new tabletop fitted for me. So that's on a pause. That's why my table is looking like that at the moment. They've had an amazing response for the customer service team looking into getting my table come out of it, even though they've done the work. They're so, literally making the table a little bit deeper because it's a little bit shallow. So we're hoping that they can have another tabletop brought out to us so it's more in line with the wardrobe. Everything else has been so amazing. Like the craftsmanship of this is so nice. Like, look at the finish of this. Like you can never find this in Ikea, guys. But anyways, I spent some pretty coin on this chair. I read reviews and apparently this is high list on every block. I ordered it yesterday at 3 p.m. and it come this morning. I was like, wow. It was actually on sale, which is the reason why I bit the bullet. Yeah. It's from this brand called Secret Lab. Da, da, da. Grand's even invested into Philips Hue light. This guy, he's addicted to these Philips Hue bulbs. So he's gonna put like all lighting and stuff. Oh wow, look how big that book is. Oh my God. It's instruction manual. Ten step instructions, god damn. Um, it's got wow, wow that's seriously. so fancy. Look, it's got a pillow. It's magnetic as well. The sleekness of it. It's proper squishy as well, it's like a memory foam pillow. Right, let me tell you if it's worth the money or not. Oh fuck, it's hard man. It's definitely very flat on your back. Where's the cushion on your ass? Guess it'll do, innit? It's not amazing. I thought it would be like, wow, like the softest thing I've ever sat on. Hello guys, we are back. Look, I've got some new hair now. I've got new cheeks, I've got new lips. The Hammers team are back today. Yeah. Woohoo! So, we have another little update for you guys. We are getting our shoe storage built. The guy was like, I've done this 
a lot and I've not seen this much shoe storage. <laughs> well, there's a first for everything, right guys? <laughs> and the Hammond team are so nice, right? So they basically know our schedule's really busy. So normally a job like this will take at least two days, but they are trying to cram everything in one day. Okay, so we're going in the garage, guys. This is like shoe storage galore, right guys? So that's your top one. Okay. Because otherwise you're not going to be able to get to it. So, and then in the middle, we chose to do shelves. I was actually thinking to put more shoes in there, but you know, the one was like, you don't need that many shoes. I'm like, you don't know me, girl. <laughs> so all this middle bit, we're gonna put like storage. We've got little tools. Everyone knows in the UK, no one actually uses the garage to put actual cars in here. So the garage is just a dumping ground, basically. It looks so cool. So we'll keep you guys updated. Hopefully by the end, we can actually put our shoes in there. Dun, 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 dun. This is the last project that the Hammers team has completed for our house. We want to do a customized bench in our hallway. This is literally perfect because you can sit here while you're putting on your boots you're putting on your shoes and we've had this for about a week now and every single time people come over they actually sit down here and they put on their shoes and it's also really really handy when packages come and there's loads of them you just end up dashing it on here using it kind of like a table and then we have four doors where we can actually put the shoes that we use day to day you literally just push it and the doors pop out and these are like the shoes that are like my go-to these heels i don't wear day to day but they're so freaking cute i need to put this in the big Big shoe wardrobe inside the garage. You guys know I gotta have my crafts here, I gotta have my trainers. I still need to go through all my shoes and put my day to day shoes in here. It's so nice to have a place to quickly go and grab your shoes that you wear all the time, you know? Gran has these two little shoe wardrobes. <laughs> He's got his little shoes in there. And of course, in twee fashion, I get the bigger space, you know? <laughs> Cause you know, girls run this tang. The Hammers team have been working hard all day today. And look, we have a massive built-in shoe storage, guys. This is a huge wardrobe. I don't know if you guys see on camera, but she wide, okay? She thick. Look at all of this space. For shoe storage. We should be able to fit about 70 pairs of shoes here because we have the back rail and the front rail as well. And I like at the top here, it's a little bit taller. So we still have all of this hidden space back here for all the boots and all that kind of stuff. Don't mind all the clutter right now, but when we clear this out, we can still actually fit a car in here as well. If we ever sell our house in the future and they actually want to use the garage, you still can. So that's why we went for the sliding doors. And we also opted for a mirror here as well. So when you want to try on your shoes with your outfits, and then also in the centre, we actually opted to go for shelving to put like all of this stuff here that needs a home. Mm -hmm. I feel like this bit will come really in handy. And then we also have the same on the other side as well. So there is just hella, hella shoe storage. So this is my side and that's your side. So these both are my sides <laughs> and you get the little shoe closet outside. No. Next week we're going to be actually going through all the shoes and like stacking it. So I can finally see all my shoes because currently they are in here. A boot here, a sandal here. I can't find any of my shoes. Look at all the shoes currently. Shoe heaven, galore, Crocs. Ugg slippers. Oh, I just put these on right now actually. My feet are cold. I'm so happy with it though guys. It looks so nice and sleek and I love the fact that he built it in as well. So it kind of looks like not just a random closet. And then we can still open up the garage door as well. Yeah. So over here we still have access to this plug socket and then we can still open up our tumble dryer really easily. They left enough space so if we do need to change up the tumble dryer we can pivot out. Yeah. Pivot. Hammonds, they think about everything. I think I need to buy more shoes now to fill out that wardrobe. No. <laughs> I remain single. We have our first injury. Look at my big scratch. Glad just cut himself. From moving that carpet. You got carpet burn. It's so echoey now without the carpet. So for now, Gran's carpet is just sitting diagonally in my beauty room for the next week. Yay, fun stuff. As you can see, the black room. It's grey. It's black. It's grey. It's black. Oh, you stupid <laughs> If you don't slap your boyfriend's ass, are you, you even a girlfriend? Ass, you slap my back. Oh my god. Oh, your head! <laughs> your head! Did you not see that? That head got caught! Oh my god. Oh, your head! <laughs> One day ago. Yesterday! <laughs> Yesterday! <laughs> Who's gonna get the voiceover? It's like a hump. Cause I'm a hump. My hump, my hump, my hump. 